Hey guys, this is Jamrin guys. So in this tutorial, we'll be learning about two-way data binding. So at first, let's see what's the use of data binding is that you no longer have to worry about synchronizing data between your views and data source. And for two-way data binding, it propagates changes in both directions, ensuring that the source and target objects are always synchronized. You can see over here, a continuous synchronization is happening and our UI is being updated as per user request. By default, the target object only receives the value of source object when the binding is created. To keep the UI synchronized with the data source, we need a way to notify the target object when the source object has changed. This mechanism is provided by iNotify property change interface, which will be used for updating the given UI. So create a Jamrin forms.net standard blank application at first. Here I have set iOS project as my startup project. You can set Android project too. Then here I have set main page as login page that is defined inside my views folder. You can see over here. This is my views folder that I have added inside my project by adding a new folder name as views. Then inside that views I have added a login page which will reproduce a design part file as well as code behind part file. Selecting forms forms content page jamal and name it as login page that's all here i have placed that stack layout in center position you can see over here horizontal option as center vertical option as center and given its content spacing as 10 this is a simple ui that i have made and added some emojis in our jamal level text so that our ui gets a little bit better look you can see over here there are so many emojis you can directly select any emojis as you like and then copy it and paste it inside your xaml page now these are my two entries that will receive all the contents from the given view model as binding for name as well as binding surname in a two-way mode there is a convention that anything that receives user request and user is allowed to edit as well as delete it then it's a two-way data binding just like entry. There is also another convention that a label can be called as one-way data binding that means it will receive all the data from its source towards its destination. That is why I have added binding for name and surname if these two entries get updated. Now let us go to code behind of login page. Then. Here all the context that I have defined inside my XAML page will be getting all its content from login view model that is defined inside my view model folder. You can see over here, I have added a new folder. Then inside that I have created a new class as login view model class. You can name anything you may like and call it from code behind of login page. If you are following my previous tutorial, then this tutorial will be really easy. At first, we'll tell our view model that we'll inherit iNotify property changed that is defined inside system.component model, which is going to notify the given view model that if I am called, then I'll take all the controls that are being changed inside my view model and then refresh the given UI. At first, it will take the property name and then assign that property name to the given property name changed event argument. And we'll be calling on property change method over here this for name as well as this surname are our source strings that gets binded from this destination so at first we are going to assign a given string as for name and then it will receive all the values inside it and then it will change that property name as for name you can see over here and same as for the given surname it will get surname values and then change its properties for our given entry now let us build and run our project here i have set ios project as my startup project you can use android project too let us add four name as lx and surname as gm and our ui is being updated that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials